Hi friends, this is Dr. Apoor Mehra. We are with the first chapter, the basics and imaging of orthopedics. When you look at orthopedics as a subject, it is one of those subjects where images have lot of role to play. And this chapter will give you lots and lots of questions more when you talk about images. We are talking about the year 2021 and we are looking at the results beyond it. I wish all of you all the best, this being the first lecture in the series. This is my daughter. She welcomes you all to my classes, which have been classically called as Ortho Dhundaraka. ODD, name, its origin has a history, which we will talk in subsequent lectures. This photograph dates back to her first birthday, when I started teaching. It just looks like yesterday. I thought, will I be able to do that? But more importantly, I felt responsible. And I made this slide as the first slide. I have never been able to start a lecture in last 12 years without this slide by my back. Thanking good God above with honoring me the responsibility to be a student and interact with the other students. This is my name. It hardly matters. What matters is I train people to solve questions. More importantly, I tell them it is just not about the question. It's about the options. One question can have two correct answers. You can only score if you choose the best correct answer. That is why never mark a question without reading all the four options. This is one dictum which every student of orthopedics or entrance exam should remember. Always read all the options A, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, all of them. Going further, orthopedics per se has two spellings, both are correct. Ortho means straight, pedix means child, orthopedics means straight child. This term was coined by a scientist called as Nicholas Andre. Look at his wonderful hair lock. He was the pioneer. He was French, gave the name, the emblem, wrote the first book, defined the branch. He was appropriately called as the father of orthopedics, Nicholas Andre. Now this name is going to be there with you for long. Another scientist who did a lots and lots of work, brilliant, British, called as H. O. Thomas, Hugh, Owen, Thomas. He did so much work that Britishers actually labeled him as the father of orthopedics. But since the seat was already occupied by Nicholas Andre. He was called as the Britisher father of orthopedics. He contributed with some of the very important things like Thomas splint. Splint is any device which will immobilize the joint above and a joint below. So if you have to immobilize the forearm, it will immobilize the wrist and the elbow. One joint below, one joint above. Rule of splintage. Role, immobilization. 
he also gave called as wrench to correct deformities it was not very popular is not being used now thomas gave a test called as thomas test which talks about the flexion deformities of the hip trust me if i have to remember one contribution of thomas it is the thomas test which i should remember and that is why that is the most common question asked from this area and the other thing which he gave was the collar the cervical collar for the neck injuries thomas also gave one more thing called as ctv shoes congenital talipus equino varus ctv for this thomas gave the shoes so he gave five things but if i have to remember one i will take home thomas test the world is run by competitions if there is one father there will be one more so who is the father of orthopedics actually we have a paternity issue but if there is a fight and you get a question where you have both the options nicolas andre is a better answer than thomas but you know britishers they feel that they have created the world so another britisher who was related to thomas he was nephew of thomas did a lot of work in orthopedics like thomas he had big name but one thing which he did extra he did lots of publications and today his name will be seen more in articles literature his name is robert jones he was called as the father of modern orthopedics and when they used to have classical dnb papers they used to ask you what is the relationship between thomas and jones so remember jones is nephew of thomas you know the history is the biggest teacher if you want to predict your future understand the struggle that occurred in history and one of those who created the pinhole surgeries of orthopedics called as arthroscopy is watanabe joint preservation surgeries is another name and you know which is the commonest joint in which you do arthroscopy knee followed by shoulder knee happens to be the largest joint in human body knee also happens to be the joint which is scoped most common and then the largest joint is also the commonest joint where replacements occur called as arthroplasty and the father of arthroplasty is john chanley john chanley can show you the spectrum of orthopedics on one end he fused a joint joint fusion is also called as arthrodesis on the other hand he made a technique of replacing the joint called as arthroplasty isn't it so wonderful the entire spectrum but in the history what i have told you if you need to carry home one name h o thomas and one work thomas test this is what is a summary of what i have told you till now let's look at the image based questions a photographer click this image how many individuals can you see in the office now when you look up front to this image it just looks like an office with a lunch break or office is over but do you really think it's over if yes then why is the computer on because there is somebody beneath the table why is the almira open because there is somebody sitting in remember the rule of images you draw diagonals 
you draw a plus you make a circle so that you see every area if you look at this these are diagonals this is a plus this is a circle that's the only way you can see the image in total so let's think about some ideas how to click an image based question think common that's the rule of life read common think common mark common you will do very good commonly think rare you will be successful rarely think the most simple thing prepare according whenever you look at orthopedics remember few important things you know they talk about shoulder and they talk about shoulder dislocation they will talk about anterior dislocation if they talk about hip they will talk about posterior dislocation if they talk about a pediatric wrist they will talk about rickets when they talk about tumor involving lower end of radius it is going to be giant cell tumor till proved otherwise common common things they are asked if they talk about nerves around shoulder axillary nerve because there is axilla here around humerus radial nerve around elbow medial epicondyle ulna nerve around the head of radius posterior interosseous nerve branch of radial nerve around the knee the common peroneal nerve now which takes a turn around the neck of fibula around the hip the posterior border the sciatic nerve these are common things they will ask shoulder anterior hip posterior wrist rickets tumor lower end gct axillary nerve radial nerve ulna nerve posterior interosseous nerve in lower limb sciatic nerve common peroneal nerve think common make things easy people make it difficult and then they ask why they don't get through because they don't follow the rule second rule whenever you look at an image see from a distance if you go too close you will miss the sight so learn to zoom out identify zoom in that's how you pick it up keep distance i have seen people they will see a computer enter inside don't do that stay up relax take it easy every corner matters look here in this image you will see legs here in the corner you have a head peeping at the top the books somebody will be holding these small things are big in entrance these small things are big in life learn to observe then only you'll be able to do it so look at all the corners never hurry images are like relationships the more time you give to them the better they become so if you give more time to images they will talk to you listen to them don't hurry in my country every question has 40 seconds 20 seconds belong to an image go easy remember in orthopedics localize the body parts they love those areas they will show you that and ask you that remember go from normal to abnormal and i that knows how to see a normal can pick up the disease remember don't hurry and look at the options look at the image the question and the options and sometimes sometimes in an image based question you don't need an image let me give you an example which freedom fighter 
is not seen in this image. So which freedom fighter is not seen in the image? And now everybody is looking at me. Dr. Apoor sir, where is the image? But before we fall prey to it, can we just look at the options? Can we look at the options? Is there a talk about uh, the four freedom fighters or there is a catch? Options are Gandhiji, Lokmanya Tilak, Bhagat Singh, Mickey Mouse. Do you really think Mickey Mouse can be an answer? So sometimes things are so obvious. We are blinded by pressure and anxiety to not see what is shown to us. As classically, a story of Sherlock Holmes says, it's unnoticed, it's not invisible. Learn to see. Okay, now see. How many freedom fighters are there? Try seeing it. Many of you would say there is nobody. Many of you would say, are we doing orthopedics? Many of you would say, sir, it's just a tree. But eyes who are focused can appreciate the beauty in everything. After about 10-15 seconds, you will start seeing people inside. You will see Gandhiji. You will see Rabindranath Tagore, Subhash Chandra Bose, Bhagat Singh. And you know, if you are focused, you will end up seeing 10 individuals. Majority C6, good C7, focus C8, very nice people. They will see maybe 9. But if you are not deviating and you are ready to learn, you never know, you can see 10. So that's how images are. I went to Kashmir. My wife told me, go out and click a pic. I remember. It was a chilly morning. But when wife says, wife says, you have to follow. I went out. This is what I clicked. I saw a huge tree. You don't see such trees in Delhi. Kashmir is God's heaven. You could see everything there. And then I could click this. And she said, that's the only thing you saw. I said, no. But this was the biggest thing I saw. She said, let's go out. This is orthopedic Kashmir. This is what she clicked. You know, she clicked the sky. Beautiful mountain. Wonderful garden. Lots of trees. Some fountains, some monuments. I said, even then, largest is the tree. She said, no. Larger than the tree is the garden. I said, okay. More than the garden. And largest is the tree. She said, no, the mountain. I said, then is the tree. She said, no the sky, which is above everything else. So when you go too close to the tree, you lose the sight. So learn to see things from a distance. That's the golden rule of achieving more than the crowd. And then, one of the commonest images are in orthopedics. Upper limb or lower limb? Upper limb. Beautiful. We can see humerus. We can see ulna. We can see radius. And if you pick it up, you will see a fracture of ulna. So when you see in this image, fracture of ulna, you see tree. But when you see the fracture of ulna with dislocated radial head, you see Kashmir. And you will only score, you will only score when you mark Kashmir. Because Question would be diagnosis. First option, fracture ulna. Second option, fracture radius. Third option, fracture ulna with dislocated radial head, which is also called as Montagia. So friends, if you mark fracture ulna, you are not wrong. But if you mark Montagia, you will score. Entrance is just about achieving that near perfection. So when you look at this image, you know the question, photographer clicked it. How many individuals are there in the image? The world photographer is colored. It's a different color. It's in yellow. You know why it's in yellow? 
photographer has clicked that image how many individuals are there in the office so whatever is in the image plus one for the photographer because he was also there in the office this plus one will decide your rank so when we start looking you will see inside the almirah the legs on the corner somebody beneath the table somebody's hand somebody's head somebody holding the book somebody on the corner walking out hanging beneath and if you learn to count this is something called as 10 and you will answer 10 plus the photographer called as 11 this is the secret of learning the images see what is unnoticed don't try to find the invisible because nobody can find out